like always. I know. Hope to be like that postman. My friends, it's a pleasure to be with you here today. We're moving into, whoa, the end of chapter four. We're looking at 4.10. Whoa, 10 lessons in this particular chapter so far. And it's a really important one because it's all about establishing kind of division, understanding the basic concept of division and what it means. And this is crucial, you guys, only because, hey, I've taught fifth grade and sixth grade, and this is really setting you up so that you'll be able to start dividing a lot of numbers, decimals and fractions next year and so forth. So like I always say, buckle that seat belt, put on that shoulder strap. You got a helmet? Yeah, wear a helmet too. You never know this ride could get really bumpy, my friends. So go ahead and do that. Let's look at our topic. Our topic states that it's placed the first digit. Hmm, I wonder what that means. Must be something to do with division. Our essential question helps us decide what is our goal and our purpose of this lesson. What are we supposed to learn? I'm so confused. Well, you know this question. If we can answer this question by the end of the video, we did our job. It says, how can you use place value to know where to place the first digit in the quotient? <laughs> yeah, very good question. I don't know. A lot of words here. Keep in mind, remember, quotient is just the answer to a division problem. Maybe we should write that down. Yeah, it's the answer to a division problem. Very important that we know all these words, right? We have the dividend, we have the divisor, and I'll try to point those out as we go along too, because, well, a lot of our assessments now with Common Core, it has a lot of conceptual understanding and understanding the vocabulary for math is important too. But you know, guys, that's right. We can't do any of this. We can't even begin. But why? Because we need to unlock the problem. That's right, my friends, because it's real world, baby. Real world. Real world. Okay, it says here, Victor took 144 photos on a digital camera. The photos are to be placed equally. Oh, there's that word again. Equally. Equally into six photo albums. This should be a big key here. We're talking division, my friends, making equal groups. How many photos will be in each album? Okay. Now, it does say over here in our little blue box trying to follow Go Math the way it's supposed to go. It says underline what you are asked to find. Okay, that's cool. I could do that. And that would be right here. How many photos will be in each album? Yeah. Okay. And then it says circle what you need to use. I will be using the 144 photos right here. Oh, no. Oh, Mr. Aurora. Oh, sorry. Let's try that again. 144 photos. I almost did it again. Okay, I'm trying to circle. That looks more like a rectangle. It says the photos ought to be placed equally in, oh, look, here's a circle. Six, ooh, six photo albums. So this is the information that we're going to use. Use this right here. And we underlined. We're following the directions. Imagine that. So now it says example one. It says divide 144 divided by six because we have those six photo album. By the way, I'm going to write this in now. This number is my divisor. And I know that we've probably gone over this in previous videos. I cannot stress enough how important it is that you learn this vocabulary. The 144, which happens to be right here, is called the dividend. The dividend. It's important that you understand that we are dividing the dividend by the divisor, which is going to give us a quotient. Sounds like we're speaking a foreign language. I know, but these are the words that we need to use when we think and reason about mathematics. Step one does say use place value to place the first digit. So this is important too when we think about place value and how important place value is. Place value is really just a kind of, it's a grouping, like a grouping system so that we can count like large numbers without actually having to have a million digits because there's only 10 digits in math, right? In math, we have zero, one, two, three, four, five. I know you know these, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's it. So they keep putting them in, we keep using digits in different ways by creating this place value. And you probably use that place value chart, okay? where we have like the ones, the tens, the one hundreds, okay? And it just means that a two here in the ones place is just a two. But if you dare, I dare you, put that two in the tens place, now you don't have two. No, you don't. It may look like a two, but it's really 20, okay? And that's the whole purpose of place value. Anyway, it says we're going to look at the hundreds in the 144, okay? That's this over here. Let me get that junk out of the way. What does it say? 
100, oh, look at the hundreds. That's what we, we moved that junk out of the way. So we have that 100. You can see we have four tens, which is 40. And then we have four ones, just four. And it says, we're going to look at the hundreds place first. It says 100 cannot be shared among six groups. Okay, so we're trying to take that 144. Here's my picture. And I wanted to share it equally. Well, if I only have one of these 100s, I can't, I can't give one group a 100. They're all together. I can't, you know, I, now I can take them apart because that's what we're going to do. We're going to regroup. But when the 100 comes to us, it comes as just 100. And we can't give one group 100 and then not give any 100s to the other groups. That's why we need to regroup. Now, if you look at the picture, it does show you that we, when we regroup 100 as 10 tens, look at that. Now we have plenty of tens that we can share some of the tens with the six group. And you can see here, now there are, well, we have 10 tens, but we also have four over there. So we actually have 14 tens that we can share among those six groups. Now comes that whole purpose of our lesson, that first digit. So the first digit of the quotient, and the quotient is what's on the very top here. I'm kind of circling it right here with my cursor. Ah, see that really white? Okay, it will be in the what place? Well, we already decided the six can't go into the 100s place because remember we talked about that, it's 100. So we had to make our 14 tens. And you can see the, this right here, that's our 14 tens right there, okay? It's right there, oh, no, where was it? Oh, it was there, now it's gone. Oh no, Ooh, I guess I kind of got carried away. But I just wanted you to see the 14 tens right there, okay? So that means it's gonna be in the tens place. The tens place, because the four is in the tens place. You can't put the two above the one. That's the hundreds place. And we already said that 100 right there, we could not share that equally. So we broke it up into pieces, 10 of them. Now it's like we have 10 and the four, 14 tens. And remember, 14 tens is really equal to 140. And you can see that that's actually in that number. So we divide the 14 tens, we divide that by six. Sometimes you guys learn these little tricks in the steps saying, that's dad. And here we go. So the M is for multiply. So six times two is 12. So I put my 12 in there and you can see I need to subtract. By the way, M is for mom, mommy, right? And then S is for sister. We're getting like the whole family here and we get two left over. Okay. And then that's all we do for the time being. We did divide. We multiplied six times two tens. We subtracted the 14 tens from the 12 tens. It says check. Two tens cannot be shared among six groups without regrouping. That is absolutely true. We just have two. That's why they always say that our remainder down here should never be larger than our divisor. The main reason is, is because it would suggest then that we were able to share more than we thought. But you can't share two tens with six groups. You know, you just can't do it. You might want to, but you can't. Okay. Now, step three says divide the ones. So they're going to show us this problem that's already started. Divide the ones. Regroup two tens as 21s. Well, why are we having to do that? Well, we already talked about it. Remember, the two tens can't be shared equally. So that means we're going to drop, bring down the four. By the way, when we're doing our dad for, div for divide, mother for M, sister was subtract. There is another one, brother. And the brother, that's this guy right here. It's bring down. Bring down the next digit. And now you have 24. Well, isn't this beautiful? Now we go right back to the beginning. We're going to divide. We're going to divide 6 into 24. So we're going to divide 24 ones by 6. That's what we're trying to do. And of course, we can do that. We're going to multiply. And if you were to multiply, yeah, 4, I'm sorry, 6 times four ones that would give us 24 and they got the four up there for us already awesome so i put my 24 now i'm going to sister i'm going to subtract to subtract I'm trying to do this <laughs> the word part here and then this part so obviously we're going to end up with no remainder we're going to subtract 24 ones uh subtract by 24 ones and check zero does not yeah zero <laughs> ones cannot be shared among six groups kind of obvious so there will be blank there will be 24 albums, I'm sorry, 24 photos in each album. And it seemed reasonable. Well, our number was 144. Now I'm just going to go and check through multiplication to see if I got my correct answer. That's 24. I carry my 2. That's 12 plus 2 is 14. Yes. Woo-yee. Life is good. Wait, wait, Arrow, where are you going? Arrow? You're getting a little carried away. Oh, that's what I was trying to do. Okay. Mr. Wara. Ah, no. Oh, that was just, oh, look at that art, though. Ooh, that is pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, let's move on before Mr. Wara loses it completely. Example two, divide. 
we're going to take 287 divided by 2. We were receiving a lot of steps that was helping us and guiding us along. And this one, I think the example 2 is going to be a little bit less of that. OK, let's look at our fellow friends over here. Ooh, hello there, penguin and Mr. Polar Bear. Yay. Welcome to the show. Anyway, I'm sure the problem is about you guys. It says that Omar has 287 photographs of animals. If he wants to put the photos into two groups of the same size, how many photos will be in each group? Ooh, okay, he has, this is the information we're going to use here, remember? 287 photographs of animals. If he wants to put those photos, and it says the photos, but I'm just referring to those photos, into two groups of the same size. Well, same size means equal. It does. Kind of giving you the idea we are doing division here, aren't we? We are. So let me see if I can. I need to see my dividend. And I'm doing this. This is extra. Dividend divided by the divisor. Divisor, learning how to spell here, is equal to the quotient. The quotient is what we don't have. And that's that how many photos will be in each group. So we don't have this one here, okay? But if you look at the other uh, numbers and information that we have, you can see that the 287 is almost like a whole part. That's what I kind of think of the dividend. It's, it's kind of like a whole part. It's the part that we're going to divide. So it's kind of like, you can think of it as a whole part, even though, you know, soon you're gonna find that sometimes the whole part is a decimal, but that's okay. And the divisor is letting you know, how many groups am I going to have to make? You know, how many groups will I have? Or how much am I gonna put in each group? I don't know if we talked about partitive or measurement division, but this is an example of that. Now here, they don't tell us how many are going in each group, but they do say they want two groups. So that's kind of where I think we're looking at partitive division. So step one says, use place value to place the first digit. Look at the hundreds in 287. It says two hundreds right here can be shared between two groups. See, that was our divisor. Remember, this was our divisor. And so, so that can be shared. We don't have to regroup. So the first digit of the quotient, remember this is linked to our learning target. What is that first digit place? Where, where is it going to land? What place value? Is it going to be into the hundreds? In this case, it will be. It's going to be in the hundreds place. And there's no way I'm going to get this fit in, so I'm just going to do that. So, so the first digit of the quotient is going to end up in the hundreds place, and then you can see that right here. We have the one, it goes in there one time, and so two times one is two. Now, kind of keep in mind, we don't have any left over. So this is what our focus was in our essential question, was this right here. This is what they mean. Where is that first digit going to go in the quotient? This is the quotient. This is our answer here to a division problem. Where is it going to be? Is it going to be in the hundreds place? Is it going to be in the tens place? Ones place? That was part of what we had to decide, whether we would have to regroup. Here, let's see, divide. We did that. We multiplied. We subtracted. And that was that. So dad, divide mother, multiply, sister, subtract, and then of course we're going to have brother here who's going to bring down. Now we have our one. Now it looks like they've already done the next step for us. How nice. Step three says, well, divide. We're going to divide and we had no tens left over, but we did need to bring down our eight. Okay, so there's my eight. And now we're trying to see, since this is the kind of like the new dividend, this is part of the dividend, but we're doing the part of the dividend that has to do with the tens here. We have eight tens and we're going to divide that eight tens by two because our divisor tells us so. So eight tens divided by two. It just so happens that if you take two times four, that's going to give you eight. So we're really taking the two from the divisor and four tens and that's going to give us our eight tens. Now we subtract. Well, since I brought down the eight, Oh, I'm sorry, I brought down the 8 and I didn't write my 8 again. Should have. Oops, my mistake. We're still going to end up with 0 because when you take 8 tens, subtract by 8 tens, there's 0. There's nothing left over. But we're not done yet because we still have another digit over here. That's 7. Sometimes people get to this and they the mistake that students will make is they see that 0 and they forget there's one more there. You have to be really, really careful that you look at your whole dividend because we divide it into the 100s. Then we were divided into the tens. Now we're going to bring the ones down. Now we bring down our seven, as you can see, is they've already done that for us. So we are dividing seven ones by two. Because again, this is our divisor. Our divisor is always the one that's dividing that number. So if we have seven, it's seven divided by two. And so that's the dad part. Now the mother part. We need to multiply. Well, two times. And in this case, we're saying that two times three is six. 
and that works because you can share three of them with each group, three photos. So three and then another three. Yeah, you end up with six. So you could actually share two. So we have two times the three ones subtracting. So if I do that, multiply, I get six. So I'm going to subtract six ones minus, I'm sorry, I goofed. No, let me just do this. Ah, seven ones minus six ones. And then one cannot be equally shared between two groups. Ouch. Okay, now, so there will be, yeah, now we know, there's going to be 143 photos in each group with one photo left. Okay, won't be able to share that last photo into, unless you wanted to cut it in half. <laughs> that wouldn't be very, no, not a good idea. I don't think so. I don't know. What? What does it do? So let me just quickly go back before the music's on. I know. I hear you. But just a reminder, what we were doing today, place the first digit. We learned how to place, um, we use place value, that's what we use, to know where to place the first digit quotient by using ten, uh, base 10 blocks. That helped a lot. Cool. All right. I hear it. Yes. Okay. I hear you. The music is going. It's jamming out. Our friend. Again, thank you for joining us.